so we're back and um, I'm just doing an SE1 and show you a couple things like how I'm getting down with it and you know why I use it. I'm gonna let you hear some sounds and you know just show you like why I use it or whatever. Basically it's an analog machine. I like analog so I mean it has a thicker sound than a lot of the software um, before it's even EQ'd or anything like that. So I, I mainly use it for bass and lead so like I'll, I'll turn to some basses and just let you hear some stuff like that or yeah, let, let's just go for it. Got two different type of filters on it. Basic like um, basic patches in the SU1 or whatever. Well, I mean that's the custom patch at this point because I've done a substantial amount to it.
it'll vary anywhere between like basses or leads because I just turn that bass pass it to like a cool little lead with the, uh, a fifth or whatever on the interval. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of stuff you could do with it. It's got like plenty of LFOs and all that kind of stuff. But I mean, I, I won't even get into all that right now. But basically, that's that's why I use it. That's how that's how it sounds. It sounds, you know, real. It's just like it's kind of moogish, um, kind of Oberheimish, kind of moogish, you know. And I could just create really cool, you know leads and basses with it. Well, of course that that won't work anymore as a bass but you know you get the picture like if I, if I change the interval back it'll work y'all next time. Peace out. West up. Thanks for watching.